Peggy 3. This year, the kind of objective right from the beginning was to actually match what you have in real life. If you want that Formula One experience, the stuff we've been doing in 2012 has moved that on a whole new generation now. The whole weather scenario system has really been refined this year. So you'll get weather fronts come in now and it could be raining at one section of the track but dry on another. So you get those real moments where you're not sure which tyres to be on. So that really mixes up the racing quite a lot. You're having to weigh up in your mind, shall I switch to inters or wets or dries? It's really unpredictable now. Um, it's really matching what the people are seeing on TV. Significant work has gone into the physics model, uh, particularly the suspension, which has a real kind of uh, sea change on the feel of the car. You can really attack the track. Many people will watch fastest laps or pole laps on TV at the weekend. Now you can really get the sense of doing the same things as drivers. It's just those extra elements that make you feel like a real Formula One driver. We've got some really cool engine audio whilst you're driving the car, um, the other cars were out on circuit, and particularly on the pass bys and things are just so much more realistic. I think players who've played F1 2010 and F1 2011 are really going to see a big uplift in that area this year. We've had a bit of a change in direction for 2012. In 10 and 11, the player had the main user interface, the main menu, sitting inside the paddock where you had the interviews. But for 2012, we wanted to try something different. So now it's about projecting the passion and the technicality of Formula One to make it really look cool and also ease navigation so you can easily find your way to all the different game modes. Replay cameras have changed dramatically this year. We're going for more real life experience. An overtake might not just be into one corner, you might have set it up in previous corners, so you want these cameras which show the build-up and the actual move execution. They've got the right kind of positions, they can catch the car in those moments of beauty when you come out of a corner with too much power, you get a bit of oversteer and you outbreak yourself. Players want to watch those moments again and again. When you're walking past someone's screens, sometimes you have to sort of do a double take as to whether it's real footage or whether it's the gameplay.